time. I want to bring in uh, uh, Fatima Parker, who's a size acceptance campaigner. Fatima, what do you make on this? Do you think that we, we should be taxing sugary foods or is it punishing overweight people? It's uh, punishing the obese, yes, as uh, as uh, we are called, uh, because I mean all the points have been that have been made are um, are correct. You know we need to uh, control uh, all these sugary foods and sugary drinks uh, for the health of the nation, not uh, to combat obesity, because uh, it is creating a disease out of people's shapes and sizes and blaming everything, uh, all the problems in society, all the NHS problems. Problems on the on the fatties, uh, and if we well, no, they're not they're not saying all the NHS problems are because of fat people, but you must accept there is a huge strain and an increasing strain on the NHS uh, by people course, who are because, obese. Uh, I mean, uh, if people, uh, especially, I mean, if they can only afford these foods that are so called unhealthy. What are they going to eat or feed their children if they can't feed them these foods? So uh, that money that uh, they say it, it oh, would be. Oh come on! You can feed. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't. <laughs> go you ahead, do go not. Ahead. You don't have to give kids fizzy drinks if of they're thirsty. Not. You That's can give them a glass of water if they need something healthy and they don't have much money. Jacket potato. Yeah, you know, very good. But, uh, but excuse me, Annie. But uh, just can can the mother fight the advertising? The children would scream and, and um, uh, want I think, it. Oh, I think that's a, isn't that a fatuous argument? Mothers must surely be able to, to say to their children no. I uh, hope that they call you and tell you if they manage to do that for years. Uh, you have uh, they target children everywhere they are with advertising. Eat, 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 eat. I'm eat, a parent. Often. My child has been targeted over the years. I've turned around and said, "No, you can't have that. How about having an apple instead or a banana?" And he Very likes good, a bowl of fruit. Uh, yes, uh, that's good. That's what we need to see instead of just blaming the fatties for everything. Because that's discrimination and, and that's harming and shaming and, and, and it hasn't resulted in anything. Is this a case, though, of blaming fatties for everything? Isn't that just just taking the argument to the extreme? This is not no, about blaming no, really, fatties. I mean, I, I just, uh, just have a look at all the arguments about uh, obesity all the time. If, if, we are, if, if sugar is, is harmful uh, to, to health, it's harmful to the thin and the fat. So well, Why do we have to ban it just to stop or reduce obesity? Oh, let, me, let me bring Tam Fry back in again from the National Obesity Forum. What do you make of, of this view that Fatima's uh, putting forward? Uh, I, I, I don't often agree with Fatima, but uh, uh, in this instance, <laughs> uh, at the beginning of this interview, I made the distinction between food and drink. Yeah. And uh, the distinction I was making was because, as Fatima says, people need to eat to live. Uh, what I would be doing is saying there are foods which must not be taxed, which are uh, containing a lot of sugar, but uh, there are foods which you eat as an indulgence. And it's the indulgence food which maybe should be taxed because you don't need to eat cakes and biscuits and chocolates and all that sort of a thing to live. It's less than good and not actually needed in order to survive. What about the view, though, of taxing junk food? Because it would then perhaps, with education going hand in hand with education, and education has a huge role to play in all of this, that you just actually say we're going to tax those foods that actually aren't good for us, but we actually then guide people towards those foods like fruit and vegetables and so on you can buy from your market, which won't cost you so much and indeed are healthier. Well, indeed, that's a very good argument. And there's a piece in the independent newspaper today proposing just that, is that you actually make the bad foods uh, dearer but you also make the good foods cheaper. cheaper yeah. and, and that would be mm. using the fiscal system in a very sensible manner. Has that been tried in other countries, do we know? Because I think, Fatima, the point you were saying is taxing sugar won't work because other countries have tried it. Well, it has, in a sense. In Spain, uh, they have removed the fatty and the sugar from the uh, uh, checkouts and substituted them with fruit. Yeah. And they are discovering that, in fact, that is a, a, an ideal way to go it. Is and you, it works. And it works, and it works. Uh, I mean, Spain uh, have got just as much of a problem uh, as we do, uh, but they've found that it works. And that is something which I think that uh, British supermarkets are starting to take on board. Uh, there was a study done a couple of months ago in Salford, uh, and uh, they, they found that 20% uh, increase in the number of people who were buying fruit. And that is, if you will, a very solid piece of evidence to show that you can actually steer customers in the right direction. Fatima, finally, what would you like uh, Dame Sally Davis to, to recommend? 
Uh, to recommend um, diversity, respect for all, and uh, we stop bashing fatties uh, on every corner, uh, to uh, promote health for everybody, to exercise for everybody. I'd like to see people of all shapes and sizes dancing and exercising, and then to make the food that is healthy uh, more affordable and you know, advertise so the children would would want to eat it mm. instead of eating all the um, the sugary and unhealthy uh, calorie dense and uh, nutritious um, void foods. At the end of the day, if your kid's thirsty, and give them the, water, give them a glass of water. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Yes. Uh, Fatima Parker. Thank you very much indeed from uh, uh, the uh, who's a size acceptance campaigner, and my thanks too to Tam Fry from the National Obesity Forum.